So today is November 25th. We've got a month until Christmas. And I just am shooting this video. This is my second ever uh, thrift haul. So let me show you what I've gotten this week while I've been out thrifting. So like I said last time, I have been looking for pink and pale green to do up my decor for Christmas. So I went to a couple of different thrift stores. I got these pink balls. They were $2. That so They came from a thrift store in Cambridge that supports the local hospital, I believe. Got a, quite a few nice things there, uh, including this box. It was, oops, oops, it was a dollar. Um, I'm going to paint it and maybe put some, some words on it or something. Um, I have got this thing for cookie cutters recently and I've got a big idea about I'm going to tie them with ribbons to a garland or something. There's some old guys in there. Um, that tree is an oldie. There's some newer ones there. There's like that snowflake. There's some other weird random stuff in here. Um, a beer bottle opener and some plastic ones and uh, there's like this tiny little coffee pot in there. Isn't that weird? Anyway, so there's lots of goodies in there I haven't gone through yet. This is my cat. And this is absolutely my find of the week. I got this cake stand at the hospital uh, thrift store. And it's, um, it's iron stone. It's made in England. And I am really getting together a collection of white and cream iron stone recently. And that has got to be my find of the week. This plate, that was a, a dollar. Um, at first I looked at it and I thought, oh, well, that's, you know, Japanese or, or made in Taiwan or something. And it was uh, at the, I want to say it was another, ref some kind of prison reform program or something. Anyway, it's uh, English. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of research to find out what exactly that is. Um, but I like I like the round the round little head on that bird. Got some other china. Um, like I said in my last video, I've really gotten very fond of this old transferware. Um, I think I paid a dollar fifty for this one. It's um, English as well. And it's caught, it says it's from the game series, which explains the ducks. I've never seen anything quite like it before, but I like that. And these two green ones, they look very similar, but they're altogether different. Different manufacturer, different series. Also, um, iron stone. That one's an inn. This one is a little guy in a boat on a river in a cottage. Staffordshire. Um, this pink dish, I thought it might go to store something or display something. It's uh, made in Italy. It's got some cracks and crazings, but no, no obvious breaks. And I paid a dollar for that. And some more cookie cutters. There's a bell and a reindeer and Santa's sleigh. Uh, I really. Let me back up here a bit. I really like this um, coat hook thing. And I, I recently got a vintage window, and I'm thinking that I might uh, screw this onto the vintage window and hang it for a coat hook near the door. I'm not sure. Um, that came from the hospital um, thrift store. And more cookie cutters. This one has a couple of tiny little... Um, wooden handled ones. There's a little green one and a, and a black one in there. Some plastic ones. Alright. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I remember these were 1970, or sorry, 95, 96, 97. They came in red rose tea. Um, and these, like the whole basket were $2. And it, it's all these little teapots that all 
some of them say red rose I shouldn't say they all say red rose so that one's that one's a firehouse uh, there's a barber shop I like the little sewing machine ones um, I have no idea what I'm gonna do it that's a theater like what do you do with this stuff but I just I couldn't resist that one says 1983 but I'm sure it was night I'm sure it was uh, late 90s that they did these anyway they're cute I don't know what I'm gonna do with them if I figure something out or if you have any ideas let me know there's another another sewing machine anyway cute um this little Starbucks ornament not in my color scheme but I mean it's still in its original packaging I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I might give it to somebody this little babe she has her muff and she's got her cape on she's all dressed for winter um, and she's got a hole in the back so I can plop something in there actually I got some pink um, these tiny little pink uh, poinsettias I thought maybe well, once I cut them down I could you know stick them in in her back or something anyway she needs to be cleaned up and this green tray and this little green dish uh, pitcher kind of looks like those are snowflakes isn't it I got this big heavy pitcher uh, it's a uh, false graph I got that at Goodwill today I was pretty pleased with that and this um, white platter it's not quite as heavy as iron stone it's china and it's actually wedgewood whoops better flip that around so I can read it um, this is something about uh, USA patent but it's made in England I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research about that too but you can see above that it's impressed Wedgwood as well so I don't know I have to I have to do some looking I uh, I really like the, the edging on that That's cute. oh if I don't smash it first there was a little Santa I thought he kind of looked vintage he's not it's actually uh, Vita bath or yeah made in China Vita bath so it probably had you know gift set in there or something but I like the colors and the shape it looks it looks vintage to me the green is definitely in the family of things I'm looking for so he might I don't know put some candy canes in him or something this owl he was a whole dollar um, I've seen some things on Pinterest where you can spray paint these and make them over to look really cute so I think that's what I'm gonna do with him maybe put him away for the for the fall it's kind of a weird looking base on that it's kind of weird all over because the the bird is matte the logs that he's sitting on are shiny and the base is trying to maybe look marble and it's also shiny but it's definitely ceramic and somebody painted it it says HR so it was somebody's project from 1985 or something Another little green dressed snowman. She's got her ice skates. Must be Canadian. And I got these little green snowflake guys. Those were 50 cents. That was in um, the MCC in New Hamburg today. This was a quarter. I, I think, if, you know, he's for holding a tea light or something, but. He's in the, the color that I was looking for. This glittery green. I'm not sure what I'll do with that, but it was, you know, 50 cents or something. This, let's see how the color does here. This is a wreath, and you can see it has some pinks in it and pale green. It doesn't look super Christmassy, but I think, you know, once it's with everything, that might Christmas things up a bit. 
Um, I maybe could add, you know, some snowflakes or something. I got that at the Mission Thrift in Guelph. Um, that was three twenty-five. This one I also got in Guelph. It's just plain black. It looks like it, somebody pulled all the stuff off of it. I only paid fifty cents, seventy-five cents, something like that. And I thought I've got a lot of stuff I could glue on that. You know, get myself a hot glue gun and go crazy. Um, this is a pin. I saw a video last week of a lady who had this miniature Christmas tree and the decorations on the miniature tr Christmas tree were all Christmas pins that she had collected. Um, this was Department 56. Um, anyway, still in the original package. I think I paid 50 cents for it or something. Um, and look at these hooks. Aren't these adorable? They're curly wire hooks rather than, you know, those ones that look like bent paper clips or whatever. So that's, that's going to be handy for some of my stuff. Also got some books. So this one it was a dollar. Um, this one was a dollar. So I'm hoping to get some ideas for restyling and repurposing and upcycling different things. Um, this one is all about fabric. I got that at the Goodwill today. I, I'm not sure how much I paid for it. Oh, paid three dollars for it. Then I got these magazines. So there's holiday crafts, uh, create and decorate. I've never seen that one before, but there's two wintry ones and a, and a fall one. So we'll see. And look at that. This is Chatelaine magazine from January 1969, which is my birth year and month. Um, so it was kind of cool uh, seeing what women were thinking about. Maybe my mom was reading this magazine when she was in the hospital having me. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll have to ask her. Um, I definitely remember having Chatelaine magazine at home when I was a girl. Um, actually, I remember a Chatelaine cookbook. And a lot of our recipes that we had at home came from that, that cookbook. And last but not least, I got this little topiary tree. Really, really pale, pale green and pale pink. Um, I really thought that was pretty. It has a $4 sticker on it. So, so that's my thrift haul for the day. I hope you had a great week thrifting, got some great finds. I can't wait to open up those bags there and see what goodies are in them. Um, I'm hoping I can spend some time tomorrow putting together some decorations and getting the house all set for Christmas. I mean, we've got, we still got a month. Ooh, there's one about buttons. Hmm. Uh, so, I, I mean, there's no big rush, but That'd be nice to kind of get some of this stuff put put in place. And if you do think of anything to do with those little teapots, let me let me know. All right, take care. Bye bye.